hey everyone welcome back to another video if you're new to my channel my name is miss tamika i upload videos once a week which is sunday and then i also throw in bonus videos throughout the week and with that being said you all i am here to share my louis vuitton bag collection yes you all i finally got a chance to gather all my louis vuitton i got it here on my bed and i'm here to share hey miss tamika you got a few um nice pieces from louis vuitton now keep in mind collection started back in 2012. so with that being said if you here to see miss tamika collection to do y'all need to go ahead and click on that subscribe button you all because it really 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 helps out my channel go ahead and jump straight into this hair collection video but before we get into this hair collection i wanted to share really quick my makeup i am in love with my look today i always like my makeup don't get me wrong but today i don't know it was just like you know what let me share with my youtube friends what i'm wearing couch is from merit and i just wanted to share what i'm wearing i do have on their stick foundation which i swear by you all when i tell you i love merit's foundation oh my gosh you all and like a clean brand at sephora like when i tell you this hair is so easy to apply all i do is put a few x's on my face and apply it with the um brush like you have to have the brush and the foundation together like there's no way you can have the foundation stick without the brush now don't get me wrong if you have a brush like this i'm sure you could you know make it work but it's something about this brush with this foundation y'all that gives me that flawless look to you always like your makeup just looks so flawless it's merit merit is oh my gosh you are, i love it and i did showcase this here on my channel before but i just wanted to share really quick with y'all this here merit i will link everything down below for you all just you wanted to purchase like yeah miss tamika i see what you mean honey the merit brow gel once i pencil in i go behind it with the in the color black brown so this is what I use after I pencil my brows in. Bronzer, I think it came out sometime last year. Um, I did get the color Minor. The product to use, all I do is take a take it and do like a number three around my face. I learned that from Kim Kardashian, you all. But yeah, I take, I'll go here and put the line here and then put a line here. Blend it. And this hair is so creamy. It's so nice. And then y'all, older women, because if y'all didn't know, I am over 40. And powder blushes, they work, but sometimes they don't. I really like the cream blushes because I feel like it just soaks into my skin so nice. Like, don't get me wrong, I do have powder br uh, blushes, but I do um, gravitate to my cream blushes. So, Auntie, this is the blush I'm talking about, the one from Merit. And this one here is in the color Cheeky. So what I do with the cream uh, blushes, I usually take my blush brush and I rub it on it, my um, face. I mean, you can apply it directly to your face, but for me, um, I use a blush. I use a brush because it's a lot, it's more controllable that way. So this is cheeky. Well, I love their lip oils because lately we've been sold out of Dior lip oils. So a lot of people that come in looking for Dior lip oils, I... I usually take them over the Merit, the Merit um, lip glosses, y'all. I really love her lip glosses, like, and they have a lot of colors. If this is your first time ordering from Merit, they usually give you this hair cute pouch. Everything down below for you all because I'm trying, I'm trying to tell you, honey, this Merit is bomb.com, you all, bomb.com. So, love sharing things here on my channel. So, can say we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into this hair collection video. I'm gonna start off with um, my oldest to the newest. Um, what I have here in front of me. When I was purchasing Louis Vuitton, I was into big hobo bags. Came out, you all. I went crazy. Like I went crazy. I wanted this bag so bad, and I ended up getting the bag. And y'all, here particular bag. I love it, but not like I used to, only because I don't carry big bags like I used to. But y'all, when I tell you I love this bag, when I was back when I started um, purchasing Louis Vuitton, before I would pull the trigger, I would go into Louis Vuitton. That's how I established a essay as well. Um, go check out the bag, put it on, wear it. To put some stuff in there if you wanted to. Um, then I'll come home and think about it because, you know, 
these bags are not cheap back in the day but now I don't is I'll purchase the bag online try it on bring it home or whatever and then if I don't like it I'll send it back but most of the time I do purchase I normally keep because I usually watch a lot of YouTube videos and that's another reason why I like this here Louis Vuitton started the whole YouTube channel for myself because I started watching women here on YouTube like Jerusha Couture um, thanks for all and it was a few other women a lot of them some of them still on hot so once I saw their videos and their videos helped me to determine my purchases that's what made me start um, turning on my camera to share my um, unboxing so that's how it all started this whole YouTube started was because of the Louis Vuitton I tried to incorporate makeup because I do love makeup so that's when I started incorporating like makeup tutorials and stuff Vuitton and luxury things do a lot better than my um, makeup tutorials I love makeup and I love bags so I'm not gonna stop doing makeup tutorials so um, hopefully y'all still watch both well, you well here is the artsy like the famous artsy the bag not the newer uh, artsy with the piping around it cracking now I did notice a little bit but not a lot since they are aware of the problem I don't know if they'll just go ahead and take care of it then instead of letting it just get really out of hand so I'm gonna just call or go down there and see what they would do for me because it's not as bad as some people but I do see a little bit like maybe I can let them know I'm starting to see cracking. So what can you do? Be aware of the issue because I was in Sephora just a couple days ago and um, we just got to talking because she has on a bag that I was looking at for my birthday. I love Louis Vuitton because um, I had an issue with a bag and I was like, you talk about the artsy she was like yeah how you know i said because that's the bag that everybody's been talking about to me that she took her artsy in and they gave her the option of getting her money back or getting a store credit and i'm like really your money back like i knew about the store credit but i wasn't 100 percent sure on the money back part so i'm like money back like shit i would take the money back you know what i mean like most definitely said that um, they would give you the price, the new price of the artsy. Because back when I bought this, I think it was like 18 something or 19. The new, the new price for this artsy, <laughs> you know, with all the increases, I think this bag is up to like 25. So I'm like, damn, that's a straight come up. Like, that's why I didn't want to sell the bag. So I was just like, um, so I'm going to see. I think I may make an appointment for Friday. Or the weekend and take it in to let them check it out and let them know that I'm starting to see um, cracking in the canvas and before it get back can y'all you know help a sister out you know before the situation gets besides that you all this bag is in excellent excellent condition and I also think the cracking is not as bad because I did stop wearing this bag a couple years ago. I think I stopped wearing this bag back when I was in Covington. Probably another reason why. Maybe if I would have wore the bag a little more, I probably would have noticed a lot more cracking. So, beautiful. Now, I know, like, say, for instance, they do say, hey, we can give you your money back or a store credit. I'll take either or. It doesn't really matter. But if I have the option to get cash back, I'd rather have that. that. But if they say we just... We only able to give you store credit. I'm fine with that too. I could just grab another bag or something. But um wear this bag enough to see like the major, major cracking that some some of the other ladies have noticed no, it just took away from the bag to me. So I don't like the piping on that bag. So I know for sure I wouldn't get another artsy. The good thing with Louis Vuitton that you know they don't make you get the same bag. Cause you know, some people uh, say okay well you have to get the same exact item you know so with them giving me the store credit i'd rather just get something totally different this one is my ride or die y'all let me die this one here the artsy and this here um never falls over five years is it might be close to 10 y'all when i tell you the patina on this hair never fall it's beautiful you all like look at that y'all already know when you purchase them it's raw leather now some bags are i'm starting to notice a lot of uh, the monogram bags are coming treat them they are already treated remember uh spraying this with apple car apple guard back when i purchased this particular bag purchasing this just when they discontinued the 
other Never Full. I actually like the original Never Full, the one that had the fancy Louis Vuitton in the inside, and it was like tan. But one didn't come with the pouch. So back when I purchased this, I had a, a choice of the original or the one with the pouch. And I think price-wise, it was only a few a few hundred dollars different. So I was like, of course, I want the one with the pouch. I purchased this. They had um, they didn't have the light light pink interior because I would have gotten the light pink interior. So they only had this here. What is a fuchsia color? When I tell you this hair bag, this would never go out of my collection. Like this is one of those bags that I would keep forever and ever because there's so many different ways. Like I used to use this as a like a um, handbag, but now I could see me like I'll probably use this if I go to the gym, if I travel. I don't travel with this when I go see the grandkids, only because to put a lot of stuff in here because that's what. That's what made me purchase that long shop, you all, because I remember when I went back home, all types of stuff. Like when I tell you, it dug in my shoulder so bad that I was like, I will never travel with this bag and put a bunch of stuff in here. I never fall. Now, if I'm going to like, I don't know, on a cruise or something, I wouldn't stuff this as much because, of course, I can put majority of my things in my suitcases. But if I'm traveling back home, no, 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 I cannot carry this. But if I'm going on cute vacations like Vegas, the, a cruise, Cancun, stuff like that, then I would travel with this hair. Never. I do have this in the GM, but, of course, the GM would have been way too big for me. Getting the MM size. They do have this in the PM. Again, the PM was... The PM is more so an everyday purse bag, but that was a little too small for the price. Even back then, I don't even know how much the PM cost. So this is back when I purchased this a couple years ago. So like I said, it comes with this hair pouch. Now, one thing about this pouch, I love this pouch, but I never carry the pouch without the bag. A lot of women come into the store just carrying this as a, you know, everyday type of clutch. I just only carry this when i carry my never full it's still in excellent condition i did put this on poshmark but it didn't move fast enough and then i said you know what tamika don't sell it and i'm glad it didn't move fast because i would have regret selling this particular item it's something that goes with the bag if you get what i'm saying and then you also have your one zip pocket here um good in the inside it's just a little dusty um yeah it's still a little dusty i and try to clean it out in the bottom and then if I didn't mention it has your d-ring where you can attach uh, your pouch or other things the bag would never leave my collection back then if I was into luxury like back in the day 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 when I had my oldest son I would have purchased something like this as a baby bag but I just wasn't into luxury things back then because I don't know I just thought I could never afford it and it's just so crazy that you know I'm here would have told me back then girl you're gonna have luxury bags out of been like but yeah i'm just thankful and grateful that you know i'm able to experience it because i love handbags like i genuinely love handbag paying for quality bags you all because for a part of my life it was just coach donna karen um remember i used to i used to get my bags from um tj max and marshall's and the coach outlet was my thing back in the 90s like the coach outlet and the department stores like yeah you this all. one here you all was my first louis vuitton purchase and of course you may already know because this was like one of the bags that everyone purchased as a first bag what is it 30 like i said back then i was into bigger bags now looking back I wish I would have purchased this in a in a 25. Too big for me. Again, I'm not looking to sell, but I just wish I would have gotten this in a 25. What can you do? Now, I do remember when I purchased this, when I first first purchased this particular bag, um, the piping was a little off. And I took it in. And they replaced it because it was within the year. It was raw leather, light hair, and then it was kind of like dark hair. So it was kind of crazy, but now it's all like patina together. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to stuff this bag a little more because I see that it's kind of creasing. See the hardware on this hair bag. Like, do you see? Like the hardware has tarnished. I have tried to clean it a few times. I'm sure I can take it in, but 
I just like the way it looks because it kind of like tells a story like the handles are darkened but y'all I don't know if you remember again back way back when um, the speedies handles when they were black and that's one thing I did not want my handles to look like was that real dark black it's just I didn't like it see that I don't know what they did with the leather but they not is like really black I don't know they were the older bags I think they were the bags that were made in like the 80s or 90s but it was something with them dark handles that I did not like like to me this is like a golden color to make my um bag hot stamped um remarks and all of that because back then i didn't know nothing about apple guard notice that the uh the speedies are a lot different now zipper pocket i don't have a zipper pocket in mine i just have a regular pocket bindle um what is it henry bindle um I can't even thank you all but yeah I used to purchase Henry Bindle before they closed like I really loved Henry Bindle back in the day I used to always purchase bags from was the Henry Bindle store I used to go to the one again at Lenox Mall I said back when I purchased this this had just came out I had a choice of the original speedy or the one with the strap the strap and again that's when YouTube helped me to determine which one and looking back you all my speedy I know it's a lot more than what it was back then, but I highly recommend you purchasing the one with the strap because let me tell you times that this bag was like a headache to me, but by me having the strap, I would just go ahead and put it on, you know, crossbody or put it over my shoulder and hold the bag like this. It's just like really, really like it gets in the way. My daughter or whoever was with me, I used to be like, can you hold my bag? But now... But you know, with me having a strap, I don't have to worry about that because I can just throw it over my shoulder and go. But let me just tell you, don't try to skim with purchasing this bag. If you purchase this bag, I highly recommend the strap. I'm telling you, you would thank me later because um, you're going to get tired of carrying this in the crook of your arm. Rethink the whole um, Birkin bag because that was like my holy grail bag back in the day. <clears throat> but I have to rethink that because now that bag is over $10,000. And if I thought about it after having a Speedy, I was like, I don't know. I'm ahead. I may have to rethink my Holy Grail bag because to pay over $10,000 and to not get a lot of use out of it because you would get tired of carrying it in a crook of your arm. So I don't, that uh, Birkin bag is not on my Holy Grail uh, list like it used to be. And having a bag with handles like this like mm -mm, I'm good now if I'm gifted an Hermes or a Birkin bag that's something different but I don't think I want to invest in a bag like that that you know that don't have straps I don't care what kind of bag it is it has to have straps yeah you all this here was my very first uh, Louis Vuitton purchase this bag like when it rained I used to try to cover it or whatever but now I don't even do all that no more, you all. Particular bag, I wish I would have gotten in, Dom in the Damier bean print only because you wouldn't have to baby it as much. But back when I first started purchasing Louis Vuitton, I was in love with the monogram print, as you can see, the artsy, the Neverfull, and then this one. I did sell one of my bags that I'm not able to show, and that was my delightful, you all. I, wish I would have purchased that in the PM. Like I said, I was into big bags i think i was into bigger bags because i was a lot heavier i don't know but i was just into big bags so i had purchased the um delightful mm and that was another bag i was stalking at louis vuitton i would go in to visit take pictures or whatever the case is to purchase it and i don't know that bag i really liked but again it just kept sliding off my shoulder and that was so annoying to me i was just like mm -mm. wish i would have purchased that in the pm size because i probably would have kept it but i ended up selling it to someone over five years because that was back when i was in coveting but y'all i was in love with that um delightful was it yeah the delightful so that's what made me purchase my next uh bag because it reminds me of the delightful it's this hair graceful this one when it first came out because my essay she texted me and was like you know hey we got a new bag you want to come in and see us so I was like of course purchase the um the uh what is this the graceful shoe of the delightful now this one I ended up getting in the um 
PM size. Like I said, perfect um, size for me. So I'm glad I got it in the Damier Bean because like I said, I wanted something carefree because when I had the, um, what is it, the Delightful, it was a monogram and all this was like raw leather and I just didn't want to have to, you know, baby that baby um a bag again so i was like you know what which is this was my very first damier bean print and i am so in love with damier like i don't know for some reason when i first was looking at louis vuitton i just didn't like the damier bean print oh because this one here now this one you can really really be carefree you can get caught in the rain snow or whatever and you do not like do not have to worry about anything because this hair leather is treated. And that's one thing I love about this particular print. Because you don't have to worry about anything. Um, you do get a um, luggage tag that do come with it. I haven't gotten around to getting a hot stamp. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a hot stamp. Only because when I did get one of my bags hot stamp. I wasn't um, happy with how it looked. Now I know I can probably tell them how I want it for a sizing or whatever. So I may just leave it as is. But yeah red is so beautiful you all like look how pretty this hair red is this one y'all i was like oh my gosh i was so in love when i first got this bag i'm still in love with this bag i just don't wear it as much um you do have an inside pocket Going to my next item which is that damier i was just in in love with the whole damier bean so i ended up purchasing the odeon pm now this do come in the mm size but like i said that would have been way too big for me. Your um, you have your doll. Uh, you have your luggage tag, and I like the LV little symbol on here, like this little gold LV, cause it just brings like that extraness to the bag. My pocket, and it can fit a um, it can fit a full size iPhone. Um, I do have a 14 Pro Max, and as you can see, it fits perfectly in the inside of the bag i know we're not here for bag reviews but i just wanted to show you really quick um you do get your two pull zippers and it's with a oh what's this it comes with a strap now this bag i do wish that it would have came with a shorter strap now i know you can purchase some on amazon so that's probably what i may end up doing um, I saw one that I was looking at. It was like a braided uh, strap just to place on here to carry it as like a shoulder bag. But when you purchase it, it comes with an actual crossbody strap. Shorten it, but it's not short enough to make it like a shoulder bag the way I want it. Like I wanted it to like come up close. Now if you um, taller than me, then it may, you know, um, it may fit you different, but yeah, this do come with a strap. Like I said, the Louis Vuitton straps to me are way too expensive for me to purchase. So if I ever have any straps, that's not, uh, if I have any extra straps, they would never be Louis Vuitton. Cause I'm not about to pay that much for a strap when I can purchase like a small accessory or a new wallet or something. Well, this here is the Odeon PM. Again, one of my bags in my collection. We're down to the few, the last few. So I just got finished showing you the Damier. I'm going to show the last one. So I ended up with three Damier bean bags. Because like I said, once I purchased that one, I was in love with the prints. So I started looking at things in this particular print. Because like I said, I love the fact it's more of a carefree type of bag. Because you know, when you purchase Monogram for the first time, it's a process. I'll show you what I mean when I um, show my last bag. But with these hair bags, they come already um, treated. Again, you don't have to worry about this. Like I said, this was one of the bags that I wasn't 100% sold on. I purchased the bag and brought it home. I was in love because here's more of a structured type of bag. And as you can see in my collection, I like slouch, slouchy type of hobo bags. So this was something very different and I'm glad I got it because you know something like a classy piece like this hair has been around for a long time before this little thing holds a lot like it holds a lot if you follow me on Instagram I do have a reel of what I had in here now I didn't fill it all the way up only because I was going out to dinner and I was just throwing a few things in here but let me just tell you let me just tell you, honey, this thing holds a lot. And this hair comes in a lot of different prints. It's my collection, like my starter collection. 
was always under 2000 Like, I'm going to just be honest. I wasn't trying to purchase like the two and $3,000 bags back then. These here bags, when I purchased them, were all under 2000 So that's why I was able to treat myself the way I did, only because I wasn't trying to break the bank. I mean, they still are expensive, but not expensive as those other bags. And I did purchase my very first expensive bag. I think it was last year. And that's the only one I have. Like the rest of them that I'm showing is all under 2000 So this is why I purchased this. I was like, well, let me give it a try and see what it is. See what it's hitting for. Now looking back, I do wish I would have purchased the belt bag. Because I wasn't even looking at the belt bag. But when you spend a lot of your time on social media. Honey, social media, media can influence you to buy shit that you don't need. It was one of the bags. But um... Like I said, they did discontinue that. So moving on to my uh, my next item. This is what I'm talking about. This here didn't come. You know what? I'm not sure. I have to go back and look. For my birthday, let's go back to Monogram. Where it all started. So I purchased this one, but like I said, it's a process. I had this bag for about almost a year. I think a year be. I think a year will be sometime in March. The bag hasn't patina like the other bags. If, let me see if I can show you. Like this bag has a long ways to go. Like this hair leather is still raw. Um, I don't know if it's because I haven't worn it as much. I don't know. Maybe I need to keep it in the sun. Because um, since I've been working at um, Sephora, I just haven't. I just haven't been bringing my designer bags to work. But lately, change um, because. Like I said, I'm at work majority of the time, and when I'm off, I'm just in the house. So I'm like, okay, we want to start carrying the designer bags to work. <clears throat> carrying is this here Louis Vuitton um, bag. Now, one thing about where I work, I don't have to worry about anything because we do have lockers. It's not getting no uses out of these here bags, but I'm like, mm -mm. we want to change that. I think I'm going to sit this by the window in my bedroom, and when the sun shines over here, uh, during the afternoon it can kind of darken up here is my first monogram piece um, like I said the last monogram piece that I purchased was the I think it was the artsy so I haven't had a monogram piece in over five years I do like the monogram like I said um the monogram but it's just a process like the leather is it's kind of darkened a little bit but not enough to you know so yeah you all this here is one of my um other bags that's in my collection moving on to the last item you all we finally made it to the last item now this here is the Montessori backpack you all it was my very first over two thousand dollar purchase you all purchased this here backpack because i don't know for some reason i was just into like, you know, into backpacks. I'm still into backpacks because I'm like that type of person. When I go out, I just like to be carefree. I don't want to have to worry about anything. I do regret purchasing this bag. Like, I really do only because to use it. Like, I did fix the issue with the color transfer or whatever because I wore this bag. Um, had on. I think I wore a blue jean dress. And I don't know. I just feel like for the amount of money we pay for these bags, they should already be, like, treated against color transfer and everything else but apparently that wasn't the case now i do wish it's this i wanted the black and i wanted the black leather but that one was always sold out now i wish the black had the light pink interior and this here particular one had the darker interior because i got this one because of the pink interior and i couldn't get a hold of the black one that was my fault because this is why i should just wait because of course after i purchased this and it was over the 30 days it's available and i said see this is why i have to stop just jumping because i want what i want this hair bag y'all this bag when i tell you it's freaking beautiful it's so beautiful but i'm just so scared to carry it Three ladies come in the store with this particular bag it's just it it's cute here's the bag i did cinch it in to make it a lot smaller you can carry this as like a handheld bag you know like to carry it on your side or you can carry it like so as a backpack or when i use when i usually carry it i usually carry it with both straps or bag tag 
um this do come with the bag you also have this here zipper pocket now with this particular bag sell this i may look to purchase the um palm spring mini um backpack backpack like i said i was able to fix the situation so there is no more color transfer i was thinking about selling this on poshmark or fashion file depends on how much they try to give me because y'all you know we spend money and i ain't trying to just give away anything you know like looking out but just don't try to you know like beat me or anything you know so that's why i was just like i don't know i may just go ahead and keep it because this here is a good travel type of bag as well i am going to have to look for some type of insert because as you can see it's really light and i can see this getting really dirty quick besides that it's a cute bag you all like it's a really really beautiful bag and the leather on this hair bag now i do wish the bag would have had four feet at the bottom you know when you go sit it down when it had to touch the floor but yeah you all that was my louis vuitton collection you all one two three four five six seven eight I have a total of eight bags, you all. And thank each and every one of y'all for y'all love and support. Because when I started this channel, it was never to like brag about what I have or show off or anything like that. And that's one thing I can say about my particular channel. None of y'all ever, ever took it like that. I never had no one in my comments from even from my very first to now ever say, oh, you bragging or you this or you that. Like I never had that. That's why, that's why if you ever notice, I never start. I never started my um, unboxings with, oh, I'm not here to brag. You know how some people do that little um, disclaimer um, before they do unboxings and hauls. I never done that because, like I said, um, that type of vibe from you all. And I'm so thankful for that because, again, I just love to share. Because, like I said, when I, when I started looking into luxury, I went to YouTube. And YouTube helped me return. I wanted to do the same at right, my very, very first louis vuitton unboxing with my macbook as my camera i do still have those old footage on my hair on my channel almost 600 videos because i just never deleted anything back from way back in the day y'all see that i have came a long way and i'm so thankful and grateful for you all who has been around since day one because i have a lot of day ones here on my channel i just work really hard like i don't buy these bags just to do unboxings because honey i see some ladies they be purchasing i'm like go on sis you know god willing that'll be me one one day where i can just purchase everything that come out new or whatever but i say that to say even doing that it's like when will you be able to use the bag because like i only have i have about seven or eight bags and it's some bags that i just don't use like that so that's why i said start in 2023 if i'm not using it, i am going to try to sell it that's why i was looking to sell my two gucci bags i did sell the gucci pouch but um i haven't sold the other two bags as of yet i just wanted to again like i said just thank you from the bottom of my heart i'm trying to do a little heart <laughs> said for supporting me and i hope y'all continue to support me because the unboxes are not going to stop they may slow down but they're not going to stop you know in between my unboxings i do beauty um hauls and makeup tutorials and things like that um just to let you know make sure y'all turn on your notification bells and things like that because i did uh get a few of my subscriber friends telling me that notifications are getting my um my videos they're not getting my um notifications when i upload my videos so i don't know what's up with that i don't know for some reason i feel like youtube is kind of like playing me or something my videos was reaching a thousand and up like now everything is under a thousand lately i don't know like i said i don't know to click on that merit link you all because um i want y'all to try merit out because it's a really good brand you all it's really really it's a really good brand and this hair is not sponsored, but I did showcase this hair set on my Chanel unboxing, you all. And I just wanted to show you again by Anna Luisa. This hair set is beautiful as well. I will link this down below just in case you didn't see that Chanel unboxing. You can go ahead and click on that link so you can purchase this hair set because y'all, I love this set. It's cute. Like this hair stackable set is so cute. And 
even though it's stackable you don't have to wear it all together like um i just wanted to be extra because if you know me personally i'm just that person i'm just extra like i'm talking a little too much at this point but y'all know here on this channel that's what i do i talk and unbox telling a story so with that being said if you enjoyed this hair unboxing if you <laughs> unboxing if you enjoyed this hair collective haul please give this video a big thumbs up because it will really help out my channel and also before you go please don't forget to click on that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be what notified each week that's right each week i upload i upload videos and until next time and there will be a next time i will talk to you later bye